So in Linux, there is a command you can use to get information about a user. It's the uh, get ent or get entity command. Um, so if I use a PASSWD, basically it's saying, go get me the information that would be in the password file for a particular user. In this case, uh, so for a student, for example, I know student is a valid user. It shows me the information you know that I have in that file about user. But what if it's a user that's not local and it's one of my LDAP users? This should, if I run the command, it should go out to LDAP and get the information about that user. Um, you can see here it did not work. Um, so it looks like I've got an issue here. Uh, so we might have to troubleshoot this. So in looking at the logs, and you know you might have an, an issue with yours as well, uh, this is the command I use to look at the logs. Uh, I'm just grepping for LDAP in the in syslog, and that outputs everything that has to do with LDAP. And you can see here it's saying that invalid credentials, right? So it's trying to connect to LDAP, but it's getting invalid credentials when it tries to do that. So something isn't right, right? Now I know that we should have the credentials stored, uh, how it connects to LDAP in this config file, etsy.nslcd.conf. And if I look in here, uh-oh, you can see that in this line right here, I was supposed to put my password in here and I didn't do that. So I have to put my actual password for LDAP in here. Now normally you probably would not want to store your password in plain text. Um, but again, we're just kind of playing with this, getting it set up. There is another way to do this where you can store the password encrypted. Um, so there is a mechanism to use an encrypted password so that people can't see it in the config file, um, which is definitely a good idea to do that. But we're not going to do that for the lab just because we're just, again, we're trying to just demonstrate the concept here of LDAP. We don't need it to be super secure quite yet. Uh, so if I do that, we do have to restart those services. So I'm going to go in here. I think there we go. So I was pretty sure I had it in the list here. There we go. So both of those are restarted. And if I scroll up, I should have the command. There we go. So now when I use that command to get information about the user, it worked because now it's able to connect to LDAP, right? Um, so having the correct password. Hopefully you didn't make the same mistake I did and you um, you know, edited that password. But I did kind of breeze through that in the instructions, so you may have the same issue.